Somebody that if he was in EFCC post today, at least he can help to sustain many, many things. Understand? He's a, in fact, the man is a, is tried. But the problem with Nigeria is that we are not using the good thing to pay those who fight for us. At the end, we use one thing or the other. Somebody like Ribadu is not supposed to be in exile. For some times before somebody will go there and pick him back home. Understand? But due to the bad government that we have, the man who have to do what? What else? Okay, look at the way they retired him from police. Is it not officially now that they told that uh, uh, they give him uh, this thing? Not uh, whatever, whatever they call it. Understand? So, everybody is a very nice man. I like him. <laughs> That's my man right here. Good bro. That man, nah, that's my big bro. No, that one. That one, that one, my big bro. Now sell this stuff, man. That's go oh, slippers. Yeah, man. Some shit next time. I'm ready, bro. You go say that. Yeah, my big bro. Now, nah, if I do, I want everybody to come back again, man. Huh? Let's keep up, man. Like my area. I saw your car there. to go pay for my house. No way. No See way. my brother here. We are sleeping inside motor. No money. But we have yes. done work. I'm, yeah, a, right. I'm a driver. I've driven more than 20 something years. Yeah, I drive yeah, very well. My driving yeah, license yeah. is here. Yeah, Professional. Can make him come buy motor. Give us. You say. No, no, Just no, a month. They bring them every no, month. No, we go no, give. Me, I'm ready to vote. If somebody who can help me. Yeah, but if you're not going to help me, I'm not going to vote. Nah, I'm not for if nobody is ready to help me now, I'm not going to vote again. That is my own decision. Yeah. If it's anybody, it's a young, a young man. 
He has tried. I know he has tried, but I don't think that they go along. Because he's saying the truth. They won't allow him. They won't allow him to enter. That is all he's saying. But what we are praying that God, we need a revolution in this country. Revolution in the sense that those people that are keep us into suffering. Look at here, generator in my house, my company is more than 28. Generator, every night. I know how much we buy fuel. We buy fuel. We are very, very annoyed in Lagos State here. Your voice, we are annoyed. Especially people we are with drivers and Abu. We turn ourselves to Abu. We need the help. If he can come here, he will get to our home. My name is Promise. As in as the jail right now, the way he was going out is not good for human health. And everybody knows about it. Because the kind of noise, the kind of the thickness and the fire that's come out in the jail was not good at all for human health. And we don't like it. Even for the PA alone, the stopping, they can be talking to the customer and the customer will not be there with you. And yet we are paying for the rights. We are paying for the rights. Some, some charge, we are recharging and everything. And no rights. Yeah, and there's no rights. That's crazy. That's crazy. Yeah. Man. What's your name, man? My name is Innocent. Innocent? Yeah. yeah my name is Cindy, man. Yeah, yeah, man. What a good Yeah. yeah. Thank you, bro. Thank you, man. Yeah, man. And uh, but the problem of Nigeria, where I'm always saying it, is just two things. Is the, the problem of Nigeria is political power and economic power. But in this sense, the political power is the determinant of economic power. Without political power put in place, there is no way economic power can be achieved. In this sense now, what we need, we need a principal leader, a visionary leader, a disciplined leader that can carry us along so that uh, because now we lack policy because it is only the, the, the visionary leader, a principal and disciplined leader, that can give us a viable and a lifetime policy that will change economic aspect of the nation. And in which I know that if with the little time that we know uh, about head EFCC, he can be able to, because in the history of Nigeria, when you are saying discipline, you have to start from yourself. And uh, I could remember, because, because I'm a capman in Abuja, I read an interview when he was head of uh, EFCC that he did with, uh, he arrested uh, Mohamed Bamangida then. And when he got to the north, they, the Emir called him, that why must you do so? He said, no. He said, the point now is that this is a young boy that I've never got anything, even work in his lifetime. But where did he get 24% share in Global Corp? Which is to be reckoned with this, is, this and somebody that so brave enough and that the general of uh, what they call it was arrested during his uh, tenure in the office. That the general of uh, uh, this thing, this, uh, what they call it, the office beside the uh, NUC, Maitama. Hmm. I forgot the, this thing. Because because of uh, 600 million there. Okay, now, and he said the 600 million that are meant for the staff of that ministry, the man now bank it on his account. For what reason? Okay, now, in this sense, now, when I see somebody like that, okay, now, he doesn't even look at where he come from as a northerner. He arrested the northerners. That is to say, he is the, somebody that Nigeria needs. Nobody that a selfless leader, a disciplined leader, a, 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 a principal leader that will not even be traveling enough to say, this is my own or this is uh, my child. Then he will do according to that, the kind of people that we need. That is why, for me, as a Yoruba, I'm from Mondo State, and I believe I'm living in Abuja, but I believe that the South and the West, the, when Nuhu Ribadu, came to Nigeria, how they welcomed him and all this thing, I was so happy because we, the Southwest, we appreciate a discipline, a visionary leader like 
No we, we want fear. We want fear. Everyone go. Our guy, we want fear. Tell us, sir, let's say we want fear. We want fear. Understand? Because we need somebody we like him to enter there. Yeah. But we not get work. Whoa. We are graduates. No work. No money. No work. No house. Now motor will sleep as our talk. You see him now. Mosquito everything. See us today. Paco, now if you not saying go restore our hope, no wahala. We are going to vote him because we need somebody like him. Especially, good, though. especially my brother, let me remind you. See all the whole road, potholes. Potholes. Yeah. Everywhere. We, barely, we always get accidents on the road. Go to, go to, go to southeast of, the, of this country. No government no road, no, no light, nothing, no nothing. No road, nothing, no water, no electricity. What are they doing in Nigeria? The government, what are they using our money to build? Todu. We are driver, we run the highway, there is no good road. There is no network. What are no is a problem. No, like, so what are they doing with no, our country? And we don't say we there should not heat, but there should be a road for us. Uh, we don't die way. We die, people die every day. Uh, when they are just do overtaking face, okay. there is no way. You will lose control. Because the, the road is, is very, very bad. So they should do something. We don't say they should not heat, but they should wear people. The poor masses. And our people. Our people. From here to Abuja is a problem. Here, here for you is a problem. We don't have a road in Nigeria, but we have money. So what are they doing with the money? But they're using it to take care of their own family. But I'm sending this money. God will judge everybody. God will judge everybody. Everybody will judge them. They should behave when they do. Yeah, yeah, they are in Nigeria. They make them stay. Make them not die. When we get to where we are going to, everybody will write what is that. We are cut off this child. Whatever you sow, you must show the reap. If you know reap now, they are going to them. They will reap it. So make them do good on okay. the day of judgment so that they will see that kingdom.